It started with the intent to replicate her grandmother's cake. Now the Southside Bakery owner is taking on a new challenge, acquiring an historic candy company while keeping the city's sweet tooth satisfied. Stephanie Hart, she is one of Chicago's very own. WGN's Micah Matera has more. For 16 years, customers have been traveling for miles to get their hands on Brown Sugar Bakery's delicious cakes. Who doesn't like a good German chocolate cake or red velvet or pineapple coconut, which was the cake that my grandmother made for me? Stephanie Hart opened up the shop on 75th Street in Chicago's Chatham neighborhood. Brown Sugar is one of several African-American-owned businesses along this stretch, but the recent COVID-19 pandemic has brought an unexpected turn of events. I was closed a solid seven weeks, which was amazing. Amazing. It was just really devastating. Hart says there is a resounding strength among business owners in her community, and she knew that Brown Sugar Bakery would eventually reopen its doors. I can tell you that I'm so glad to see that in my community, most people are, and I think African Americans just in general are extremely resilient, especially people that are in business simply because you have to be. Not only resilient, Hart says, but determined. With the help of a small business grant, last month, she announced Brown Sugar Bakery would be acquiring another Chicago favorite, well-known Cupid Candies at 76th and Western. Just an amazing opportunity to actually dream a dream like that, and I'll tell you that that was a big dream for me. We call them Turks, it's a turtle. Uh, we obviously, Demet says, the trademark on the name. And we make a three layered mint called a melt away. For 84 years, Cubit Candies has delighted the taste buds of customers from all over the city. Founded in 1936 by John Stefanos' father, Paul, John says he had other business suitors, but Stephanie's ties to the community and willingness to preserve the iconic store's recipes made her the right fit. That's what most important to me, to keep it Cupid Candies. They make excellent candy. Why would I want to mess with that? Hart plans to move her kitchen to the candy store, and she'll continue to sell her famous cakes out of there. Stefanos will continue to run the candy operation during the transition. I'm also excited that my employees who are a younger crew will get the opportunity to work with a more mature crew of artists. Hart's goal is to create more jobs in the process. Deep in my heart, I wanted to grow jobs and I knew I had to do that through manufacturing. This is a huge and challenging undertaking, especially during this tough economic year. But Hart is hoping she can set an example for other business owners. So I'm really excited and I hope that other entrepreneurs like me look at opportunities like that to grow their business. Growing her bakery with a well-established candy company in her eyes makes for a sweet deal. The, the marriage between Cupid Candy and Brown Sugar Bakery is you can't get more perfect. Stephanie Hart, she's one of Chicago's very own. Oh, We're salivating goodness. over that cake. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, WGN's Mike Matera reporting. Stephanie Hart says she plans on selling her cakes out of Cupid Candies, as she said, by this fall. For more information, you can check out WGNTV.com. My sweet tooth is about to call 911. <laughs> it is a